Devil May Cry Peak of Combat. I played the heck out of these Devil May Cry games back in the day on console, and I'm happy that today is the first day that we're able to take this experience over onto mobile. I'm gonna be taking you through the initial stages of the game. I've gotten my hands on it already and kind of gotten a feel for how we play this game. And I'll tell you what, so far it is a ton of fun. We have Dante, he is our melee assassin that we've unlocked so far. Tons of fun to play with, but not only that, we also have Lady, who I'm currently playing as inside of the game, who is also very fun to play. What we're doing here today being that this is a Diablo Immortal channel, action RPGs, hack and slash style games, I felt that this is one that you guys may want to take a look at. It's a massive IP that's been just so popular for years, like Diablo has been, and now it's made its way over to mobile. So what we're going to do is kind of take you through what things look like and uh, my progression so far inside the game so you can get a sneak peek and see if you want to download it at some point in time, probably not upon release of this. I'll have a download link that'll support my channel in the description of this video. So if you wanna play it on PC, on Bluestacks, you can utilize that link. If not, that's cool too. But we have our attack buttons over here on the right hand side. There's a lot of different jumps, slides, a lot of movement inside of this game. And although a very different game than a Diablo style game, it definitely has the hack and slash elements that we see in games like Diablo. So look at nice and fast, going through the stages. We're now moving on to the General Garden Chapter One. Let's see what this looks like. And I'll tell you what, I do like playing as Lady. She is a lot of fun to play. And uh, looks like we have our first battle up front. I'm gonna jump up in the air and see what we got right here. Look at this. Look at the shooting from range. This is just epic. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we switched over to Dante. Dante's back in the action. And now we can switch back to her. I love that we can go back and forth between combat. That's actually quite fun. Now we're going to slide on over, go up in the air, take a few shots, and shut them down. This is what I'm talking about, how the combat is just honestly super fun. Very different than what we know from Diablo. Let's use a super right here. Well, Pam, blow everyone up. We're also getting, like, grades. All right, S tier on the attacks that we do, which makes it quite fun. It reminds me of like arena battlers from back in the day. Let's switch back to Dante, show what he can do. We're going up in the air in the skies with Dante right there. We're gonna go with his ultimate too. There we go, nice, clearing things out. Um, obviously, this is just the initial stages of the game, right? There's a lot more depth to be had here, but it's just really, it feels good to play. Obviously, there's a learning curve when it comes to how movement works, it's not like what we know and love from any type of a Diablo style game and that whole perspective, but it's very good. And as you can see, cutscenes as well look really nice. So it's gonna take you through the lore of what we know from Devil May Cry and uh, get us into some of this combat. Now he's got his weapons as well. This guy is just nasty. So let's see uh, what the next stage has in store. And I kind of like doing this initial day stuff with you guys. It's kind of fun. What is this? I'm like running away. This is like, what is this? Like endless runner status right here? Uh oh, go. I, I'm, I'm about to get eaten by this massive scorpion. He jumped and dashed. Okay, this is kind of fun. It's like a different mini, mini. I missed it. It's like a mini game mode here. Fair. Not as good as the combat, but fair little touch. Graphics are good. It definitely has that dark element to it that we like from Devil May Cry and that you Diablo Immortal players like from Diablo. I mean, so far, I'm excited. This is the day. I've been waiting for the 10th for this game to drop so we can kind of mess around with it. I will be playing it behind the scenes as well. And honestly, I may even do a live stream. Let me know if you'd like to see me live stream this tonight. I could potentially do that. What do we have over here in the vault? Oh, we could summon things? What are we, are we gonna summon another hero right here? Did we? So it definitely has that mobile element to it. Nero now got the unlock. Looks like we're gonna be able to take him into battle as well. We'll go to the main screen. We'll go to the lineup and we could add another hero, Nero. Hero, Nero, we could develop them as well and upgrade them. So there is a progression element to them. We're gonna just quick add for now, do the upgrade, 
and he got upgraded one level, it seems. So our heroes, they're going to be able to get stronger and stronger. As we, wait, we have another one that we could add? Challenge? Okay. Let's see what we got right here. Looks like we got some type of a boss battle challenge versus the Silver Knight. I think this is a good, a good preview of what the game looks like. So here, we're going to throw our ultimate. But why can't I... There we go. Now we're up in the sky. I feel safe up here. Dash out of the way. The perspective is weird. Like, I'm up in the top corner with this battle. Definitely takes some getting used to. All right, we got the Silver Knight almost taken down. There he goes. We have our ultimate we'll use right here. Throwing those grenades up top. You see those triple grenades going flying up there? A, all right. Now we got little fallen choir, which is basically a little demonic cupid that we have to battle right here. I love that you can, can go up in the skies and battle from up there. But we'll get right on top of the corpse. Shut them down. All right, more combat coming. Incoming wave. This is very different. It doesn't seem to have like that open world element to it or anything like that. We're going to jump up in a second. Here we go. We'll go with our ultimate again. Throw in all those. Explosions everywhere. So I hope you guys can see why I thought this would be something good to bring to the channel. Being it is not a Diablo game. It's not really even like... It's definitely different in genre and the game plays very differently. But it has similar elements to it that... I think that we could all appreciate being that we are into and love Diablo more. So yeah, I like that we're getting the grades and scores right there. Can I switch? Yeah, we'll switch to Dante, get some melee action, take it up to the sky right there. Let's get his ultimate in here too. Boom, cutting right through Dante, closing it out for the victory. Office level up, up to level nine. Benefits are being unlocked as well. These are a lot of the things that we know from mobile, right? We have our now our login rewards. They took an IP and a game that we all know and love from consoles and we have played for years and they brought it into the mobile realm. The whole way that you can make a game that was not made for mobile, make it for mobile and monetize it so that they can make it, you know, so it's not free. Let's, speaking of monetize, let's look at the shop. All right, we got something free right here. Can we grab the free thing? There we go. We got a couple of these rewards for free. I don't know what they do yet, but other things cost 29 cents. I know you can't see because my camera. 29 cents, 49 cents, 99 cents. Those are going to be the initial uh, things that you could buy. Then we have other boxes with crates that get more of these rewards as well. Obviously, these are going to be for some type of progression inside of the game fragments for your champions or your heroes as well all right we'll take the free thank you i think okay we're out of there we're out of here let's go out of the shop we have the benefits that we were looking at as well we have the sign in launch celebration these seem like just rewards that we're getting for playing through the game and for making some progress inside of the game we have character packs summons and we have follow rewards as well. So very mobile feeling from what we're seeing right here. All right, let's get a little bit more into the combat because that's what this is really about. And we've been using Dante. I want to try that Nero guy. I haven't brought him into the battle yet. We'll see uh, what that looks like. What I'm going to do also, guys, is I just got confirmation literally just now that I will have a download link. If you want to play it on PC, because this is a mobile title, if you'd rather play on PC, I will put a link in the description of this, which is a Bluestacks link so you could play it on your PC. I'm currently right now playing this on my phone. I will be playing this on Bluestacks over on the main YouTube channel. I'll have that video out tomorrow with another look at the game. But for now, I'm playing it on my phone, downloaded it quick this morning, and wanted to dive right into the game. We have Phantom to battle, another boss, which this one looks nasty. I want to try and use Nero on this battle, though, so let's see if we can switch to Nero. There he goes. We'll get up in the air. We'll go with some shots. Nero jumping up high. 
it seems like you could really you're a little bit safer when you're up in the skies so i like to jump up there we'll switch to her she's got that range i love it and when i can get that ultimate we're gonna go back to him i love the swapping mechanic so we can just swap from one character to the next oh we got an ultimate Looks like my health is looking good. We're going to switch over here as well. Actually, I can't... I'm not switching to Nero, am I? I'm just... I'm back and forth between these two. There... Oh, no. There we go. He is in the... He's in the mix. Take it back. Let's jump. Get in the sky. Uh-oh. They're, they're in the air. It just crushed down. Did it hit me? Who's in this battle now? Did they just bring in Nero? Looks like he's ready to fight. Looks like the battle is ready to be had. Oh, this is cool. Rain down from above. Oh, he's like ninja. He's, he's got the karate kicks. The karate chops. Let's go. Let's shut down this phantom. We got an ultimate here, too. Oh, it's like a power slam. That was nasty. That was nasty. Look, double S. Showtime. Did we just shut that down? With our bare fists? Tell me what's going on. Yeah, that's right, Dante. You are the man. You know, the only thing between Dante and I, our similarities, would probably be the abs. You know, the abs of steel. Yeah, of course. I just don't like to show them off in the videos, all right? Ooh, we can enter our name right here. Let's call it Echo. Gaming. That makes sense. Let's see if anyone took my name this early. Confirm. I just made 16400 bucks, baby. Again. Game, so far, a lot of fun. I really like it. I would be interested to see as time goes on and we develop further and further into the game what it looks like as far as monetization goes. How far can we play into the game before we hit a paywall, if there is a paywall to be hit at all. Or maybe we can just continuously play and enjoy the game for what it is and just have cosmetic unlocks, boosts, things like that, as you can see. There are options that do pop up for us to participate in purchasing inside of the game. So, there it is. Devil May Cry, Peak of Combat, a first look. I think it's a lot of fun. It feels really cool to play. I would recommend you download it. My link's in the description if you want to play on Bluestacks or just if you want to play on your phone. Well, you know how to get it. See you guys later. And let me know if you want me to live stream tonight. If you guys let me know that you want me to and you want to see this, we'll do it. I'll see you later, guys.